This video is sponsored by Guapku. If you're looking for a reliable modded GTA account for PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then this is the place to go. Their link is in the description below. Hello, boysies. So it's the 15th of March, meaning the new version of GTA has just been released. So I've just migrated my main account. This basically means that you can no longer access it on the normal version of the game. And when you're on the new version of the game, I believe you can only play with other people who are also on the same updated version as you. And obviously I've got a lot of subs on Xbox, so I assume I won't be able to play with them anymore on my main account unless they have the Series S or the Series X and can access the new version of the game. But I've still got my second account, which I'm not going to migrate to the new version of the game. Shut it, Laszlo. Yeah, it looks different. It looks a lot, like, grainier and stuff, and the camera's slow. Has it reset my, uh... Yeah, right, okay, so it's put all the... Let's put all the sensitivity and all the settings back to normal. So I'm on the wrong controls. I need to be on that. A lot of people ask for my settings as well. Basically, I just have everything full. And then I think the bottom two, I reduce by three. I don't know why. That's just the way I've always had it. I don't even know what those bottom two even do. But I've just always had the bottom two less than the other ones. Whoa, look at that fucking frame rate. Right, holy shit, that looks like it's on PC. Yeah, when you put it on fidelity, the frame rate sucks. Yeah, okay, right, so that's a setting everybody needs to change. So, go on settings, display, make sure to change that top one to performance RT. The frame rate is noticeably insanely higher on this. This literally looks like it's on PC right now. I've never seen GTA with such smooth frames, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna get a new session just now. Oh, where is it? Because, oh shit. Oh, that's good. You can launch an invite only lobby from a game. You don't have to go to story mode. That is crazy, though. That's the smoothest I've ever seen G2 running. Alright, well. Right, well, every lobby seems to be pretty much full, so I'm gonna make a closed lobby just so that I can get a feel for what the game is like now. Hopefully, that still works. No, it doesn't seem to work. Oh well. Well, if or when I find out a method how to get a public solo lobby on the new uh, version of the game, I'll post a video about that. Because I don't know how to do that yet. I just tried to do it the normal way and it didn't work. I'm assuming it wouldn't. I wasn't expecting it to work. And every lobby has like 29 people in it, but... That may not matter, to be honest. I mean, on the old version of the game, yeah, a lobby with 29 people is going to be extremely laggy and have a very bad frame rate. But because it's like, because it's the new updated version of the game, it may be okay, actually, to be fair. Yeah, 30. Well, I'm going to find a new session maybe once more and just see if I can get a slightly quieter one. I don't know what to do, though, once I get into a game. I might just do some grind and just see what what it feels like to play the game because this frame rate is nuts like even just walking about my yacht the frame rate is like mind-blowing like it it does load faster as well i think maybe not on the clouds but <laughs> when did that ever go fast i mean like the main load on the screen that only took like a minute i'm on the new and enhanced clouds I'm on the clock. <laughs> I want to jump off a bridge. Yeah, if this lobby's full, then I'm just going to assume every game is. No, four. Perfect. That is fantastic. I can get a car for free. Is this a good car? All right, well, it's free, so I'll buy it. Shit. All right, well, I'm just going to get my terabyte and start doing some missions just to see what driving feels like and just general sort of combat and just playing the game. What in the fuck? It's so smooth. This is... This is mental. This is just what they needed to do, honestly. Oh, uh, got to see. Oh, for fuck's sake. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Just gonna get the boat so I can go and destroy the other two. Because I'm not going back and forth about two times, I'll tell you that. Alright, well, I'm just gonna die. So yeah, read the public solo lobbies. Until I can find a method to get one, I'm just gonna have to play in whatever lobbies I can find. Meaning I can get griefed, but in 60 frames per second now. So it's like enhanced griefing. You're getting griefed, but it's a much better experience now. Some crafty sod might eventually find a way to make one. But until then, I'm just going to try and get quiet lobbies. At least lag shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. It's pretty crazy that Rockstar have released this game across, like, three different generation of consoles. And they still can't update it to spawn your personal vehicle next to you. What's that? I wonder if this will be changing the way my videos look. Can you comment and tell me if it looks better for you, like, in in the video? Because, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to tell. That right there is the future on four wheels, baby. Courtesy of How Special Works. Oh, so this is mine now. 
So is this mine then? All right, well, I've just got a free whip. Yeah, because he said that the first upgrade is free. So so if I'm able to upgrade, it's probably mine. Doesn't mean I can drive though. I mean, it is it is 8.42 a.m. I've not long woke up, so apologies for the driving. Don't know if I like this car. Feels quite hard to drive. It slides quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. It's not the worst car in the world, but I don't really personally like it. Every time I take a turn, it either steers really slow or I just lose control and spin out. Hi, oh, see, look. I span out and I hardly even went around a turn. What the fuck? Alright, well, thanks, How. If it's all the same, I won't be driving this car, but thank you for it. And I appreciate the thought. Well, thanks for that, man. Alright, well, I don't think I do get the, that car then. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't really like it very much, anyway. Alright, I'm gonna head back to my terabyte just now, then. I'm gonna go start up a vehicle cargo job now. Oh, I've just started a crate mission, haven't I? I was gonna do a vehicle one. Oh, well. Alright, well, at least we don't have to go out to sea again. But yeah, no, I am impressed with this. I do like it. I do recommend it, 100%. It was 8.99 when I got it, but I think normally it's like 17.99. Either way, it's not that much. I'd say it's worth it to have such a good frame rate. There will probably be also quite a bit less lag. Obviously, I haven't experienced that yet. But later on, I'll probably find myself in a full lobby and, you know, I'll get some scraps going and see what fighting is like. It'll probably be good, especially, like, sniping. I imagine that'll be a hell of a lot better now that it's so smooth. As well, hopefully all these god mode glitches will be gone. But yeah, they'll hopefully have removed those glitches. Like that one in particular where you where they're off the map and god mode as well. I come across people in that all the time. And hopefully that doesn't work now, because that is a total pain in the ass. When people are in that, it's like... It's, uh... It's so dumb. Because you can't do anything. You literally can't do anything. Your only choice is to pretty much just get a new lobby. Now, every time I come across someone like that, I just find a new session. Because what else am I going to do? Can't fight them. If I stay in the lobby, they'll just repeatedly kill me thinking they're good. I think I'll go to my nightclub after this and test to see if the god mode van glitch works. I don't know how to do the glitch I was just talking about. The off radar god mode one. I don't know how to do that for obvious reasons because I'm not eight. So I don't even know how to do that glitch. So I can't test if that has been patched or not. But, I mean, if the god mode van glitch has been patched or if that doesn't work any longer on this, I would assume that the other ones probably don't either. Obviously. Just had to speed out of there at the exact moment. Yep, the AI still drive on the wrong side of the road the minute a shot's fired. That's good to see. Yep, there. See, every time you fire a, a bullet, I swear every AI just drives on the other side of the road. What, why does that happen then? The minute they're shooting, you just see AIs everywhere driving down the wrong side of the road. <laughs> well, it's good to see they don't change the game too much. It's it's still our beloved old GTA. <laughs> Fucking AIs driving in oncoming traffic. No, Tony. I'm not gonna grief. Anybody. Right, go away. I'm just gonna go and switch this back to the standard one and just see how horrendous it is in comparison. Yeah, it's horrible. It's about 20 frames a second. It feels like you're playing on the old version of the game in a full lobby with pretty bad internet. At least as far as the frames go. Yeah, everybody, make sure to do that. I can't stress that enough. Settings, display, and the top one needs to be on performance or tape. The frame rate, like, triples when you switch it to that. If anybody is playing this on fidelity, then my heart weeps for you. All right, let's go to my nightclub then. Let's get into the van then. So I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because I don't want people using this. All right, let's see if it's worked. Yes, it did work. Okay, so God Mode does still exist then. Explosions look way, way different. Holy fuck. Whoa, yeah, explosions look much different. Okay, so God Mode does unfortunately still work. That is a shame. Alright, watch this car. That did not used to look like that. And the fire looks different as well. Alright, so a brand new version of the game. Totally remastered and enhanced and updated. Totally revamped. New version of the game. Right? And they still fucking have not patched that God Mode. I remember using that God Mode glitch when I was like 18. <laughs> it's been in the game for years, like, and they still, you would have thought now would be the time they'd fix it. You would have thought they'd have fixed it in there. So that glitch doesn't cause them to lose money, so they don't give a shit. Right, I'm just gonna do one of these missions from here. I wonder what else is new with this. I don't really know anything about this update, only what I've discovered thus far. So if you've noticed any changes, like things that have been removed or added that didn't used to be the case, then please let me know in the comments.
Click on your slag. Why can't these two just take her? Are they not her bodyguards anyway? <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's way easier to shit and kill people. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Why? Why can't you just put it here? Right, well that's already two stupid fucking things they've neglected to rectify. Right, come on you stupid bitch. I oh, know they are shit in there. Alright, finally. Fuck me. That's five minutes of my life, I'll never get that. Alright, well, I'm gonna do a vehicle cargo now. Because I said I was gonna do one before, but... I did the wrong thing, because I'm an idiot. This lobby is no longer as quiet as it was. I guess everyone's just like waking up and just immediately getting on, just like I did. Pretty much. Apart from a shower and a split. The blood looks different as well. When you run AIs over the big fucking blood thing that comes out of them. See how blood comes out? That looks different. <laughs> I love how I noticed that. I love how nobody's killing each other as well. There's now 26 people in this lobby. And nobody's killing each other. I drove past, like, a couple players, one in a presser as well just then, and he didn't kill me. Like, everyone seems quite friendly. It's almost like, you know, like when GTA Online first came out, everyone was just, you know, there wanting to just play the game and, and not bother anyone and didn't want to be bothered, everyone was just doing their own thing. Then as the years go by, you know, people just start kind of getting uh, kind of bored of the game, so they just start griefing. It's kind of like with this, everyone's kind of wanting to play the game and experience it and figure it out and see what's new with it, and everyone's kind of interested more in that rather than just killing other people. But two people after me now. Just as I was on about people being friendly. <laughs> wow, they might just be going out to the desert. No, they're after me. Well, at least I can probably now experience some PvP. Nation okay, rockets, I mean, he's mad for the nick of him. Is he not gonna come out? Hiding those shitting grenades. What a pissy. This guy's trying to shit him in there. Why are they getting all pissy with me? This kid is a fucking idiot. Sniping feels way, way, way better now. Yeah, he's. These two suck balls, man. Come on, mate. He's dog shit, man. Idiots, mate. What are they? Look at them, by. This makes me look like such a mug. Everything I was just saying about people being friendly. There you go, that's shit. Oh, he's absolute wank, mate. They both are. I don't need to use rockets, mate. He does. I'm just doing it for a joke to wind them up. Yeah, it ghosted me. Alright, well that was good. I was wanting a bit of PvP to just see what the state of that is like. And that is excellent. Fighting people is way easier now. Definitely. Right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this one here now. Because I've got to let the dog out and do a bunch of stuff. Um, but thank you for watching. I definitely recommend getting this. Obviously it's only available on the Series X or the Series S. You can't get it on any generation of Xbox lower than that. All right, well he just failed quite quite hard. Uh, he's still ghosted. Why did he just try to bomb us? He used to use shit like this to try and get some kills back. That's a shame. He thinks shit in the chaff is going to protect him from a minigun. Look how mad he is. He's trying so, so hard to kill me. Look at him, and he still can't. He's so butthurt. Look how salty he is, man.
He can't do anything. Why is he still trying? Yeah, it puts ghost on. Yeah, off he goes, running away, and his friend's a killer. What a baby. As I was saying, yes. <laughs> I recommend getting this before I was so rudely interrupted. I definitely recommend getting this. It is, it will make your experience playing the game about fucking 20 times better. If you're on the right console, it's definitely a much better way to play the game than on the old version of it. I just need to get this oppressor grief for a minute. I don't know what he thinks he's really doing, but you can't use that oppressor worth the shit. But yeah, thanks for watching, mate. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Two to the one, to the one, to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the deep. Let me tell you how I made her leave with me. Conversation and